It's been raining for the last week and we have not been able to mow our lawn, but look what got delivered today. It's the Luba and it's Mimotion's perimeter free, wire free robotic lawnmower. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are looking at yet again, another robotic lawnmower. This one is the Mimotion Luba. You know what? Enough talking about this product. Let's get right into the review. I've been into this review only a few seconds and look what we see here. It says keep the box and the foams for return or repair. That does not make me feel confident in the Luba. Right on top, you can see that there's a rubber mat and this is actually supposed to go in front of the charging base. I've actually read and seen where the Luba can tear up the grass, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna empty all the contents out of this box so you can see what we received. Boy, oh boy, are there a lot of parts. Of course, you see that we have the Luba back here and I didn't realize that the front bumper wasn't attached. So that's something you're gonna have to attach later. We have the base and a little orange key that's on the base. Of course, again, we've already seen the mat. Then there is the antenna on the left. That'll actually have to be hooked up to a pole or to a wall. And then down here, you see the power supply. Our first step is to grab our 2MRTK cable, so it's two meters. We are gonna fish it down through the hole, underneath there's a channel, and back up and plug it into the backside of the charging base. Let me show you how that looks. As you can see, we brought the wire through, ran it through these channels, and then back up to connect it. You actually have to lift this up to see the this wire. Just plugs in here to the right side. Just like that, you have completed step one. Step two, we just fish the 10 meter power supply up through the bottom, and we're gonna plug it into the corresponding spot on the left side. Once we made sure our wires are snug and tight, we can close the door. Now it's in time to install our front push bar and there actually is the word Mamotion written right here. So just make sure you install that with the words written straight up. But we're really just sliding these two ports down into here and hooking up the electric connection. Just like that and you're done. If for some reason you have to remove it, there are push buttons on either side that you can just push them out and release them. Let's push it back in though. Now we install one of the keys that we had, put the separate one aside for safe keepings. I ended up using the included pole to hook up the RTK antenna just so we have a clear view of that sky. And since placing it here, it's actually done pretty well. Sometimes it loses signal, but for the most part, it picks it right back up. I wanted to show you underneath the Luba, you can see our two different cut wheels. So now we have a wider path as we cut moving down the lawn. Now we're going to walk through the mapping feature. And as you can see, I've already mapped out quite a bit. When I originally filmed my mapping section of this video, well, the sound didn't come out, so now I'm redoing it. I've been using this for a couple of weeks, so I'm actually going to map an area that's not already been mapped, but let me show you what to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click the edit button, and it tells us to leave the charging base before doing that, so I'm just going to move our Luba right off the base. And you can just do this automatic pile down, moves it off for you. Now that we're off the base, we're going to use the controls right here on the screen to move the Luba to our new area we're gonna map. It's actually pretty cool. We can go up right here on the toggle and it moves. We can also go left and right, and well, it cruises along. I wanted to show you how cool this is. You literally just move the toggles around and you can drive this thing around like a race car and it's actually pretty quick. So now that we're in the area that we want to map, I have the Luba set up. You can see the app where it says create modify. I'm actually going to add a task area. Oh, you know what? I'm actually in another area, so I gotta move this out of the way a little. All right, I think now I'm in a different area. Yeah, there we go. So now I can add a task area. So there I click it, I understand, and let's walk with the lawnmower as I control it down our line. So now we have our lawnmower almost to the very beginning and you can see that red outline, that's where I just mowed. So now I'm gonna line this right back up with where I was before. I'm gonna reach to the end and I should get it. There's my check. All right, but I want you to pay attention to something up on the screen. You see where it just clicked off, but I'll bring it back to show you. It says we've almost reached our maximum area and I didn't really realize that this mower had a maximum. I know it's only supposed to mow 1.25 acres. I thought that was at a time, but maybe that's all together. Anyway, we're done here. Let's hit check. And now we want it to go to work. Actually, before we get mowing, I have to add a channel from this new area we just mapped out to our existing ones so the Luba will know how to get back. 
to add a channel, we are going to click Create Modify, Add a Channel. We understand, and I'm just driving from this zone to the zone right next to it. Once I get in there, it's going to show me a check, and we are done. Now we can go to work. Just mapped out this area, and it's almost 47,000 square feet. So we're going to have the Luba come back here to mow. Let's see how it does. I should say I just pre-mowed it, and so I don't think we'll have a problem mowing it. I just want to see what it looks like at the end and to see how long it takes. It's been going at this for just about five hours. Now that includes having to go back and charge, right? So really only about three hours of mowing. It's gotten about half of this done. You can see on the right, the nice stripes and lines, but it still has a ways to go. Well, the Luba has done it. It finally completed the entire lawn and check out those sweet lines. I'm really impressed with how straight they are. I will say that this took a significant period of time to actually mow. I think total time was just over 15 hours and that includes going back to charge and coming back out to mow. I typically don't like to mow at night when the dew is out there, but I let this thing just roll. And in the end, it did a good job. Look how nasty this mower looks after its 15 hour journey of mowing that lawn. And I attribute this to the grass getting wet and therefore sticking to the mower. Yet again, something I wouldn't normally do, but it got nasty. Also check this out. It made quite the circle here as it docked again. And I guess, of course, this again would have to do with the wet grass, but that's probably why they include the pad. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the Mamotion Luba? Has this been something you've been looking at? Do you have one? Do you want one? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Right, we pulled the Luba off its base because we just want to give this a little bit of a rinse down to get some of that grass off. I'm not going to do a thorough rundown and wipe it down, but just to get some of this grass off. You can still see it's dirty underneath. This is interesting. This has actually happened to me in the last couple of days quite a few times. Hasn't happened before then, so I was thought first time it was just a fluke, but now here it is again. Let me get closer so you can hear this. Do you hear that high-pitched squeal? Now, I do not have this post as like a no-go zone or an off-limit zone, so I'm not sure why it didn't bump and go. So I think what I may do is bring this in these posts that are all around, have it as like a no-go area so it just knows not to. I'm gonna back this up and let it continue, but this is kind of frustrating. It's funny, I do clean this like once a day, but look at how dirty this is. All right, let's get it to go again and see what happens. Here we are again. This is of course a different post and I'm wondering if it, the angle in which this is hitting is causing some sort of a malfunction. I still have it mapped around these and that's actually what I'm gonna do when this finally finishes this route. But this is getting more and more frequent. Sometimes like right now, the lawnmower loses its position and I'm only actually 15 feet from the antenna. I can see it from here, but for some reason the lawnmower doesn't. So what you can do is you can either leave it right here and it should connect after a little while, or I move it using the controls to see if it'll come back to life that way. All right, so it seems that just moving it, I was able to get it to reconnect and well, there it goes. For the most part, I've been trying this in short grass, but I thought, man, let's try it on some tall grass. This grass is about eight to 10 inches tall and the Luba is just slicing through it. Now, is it perfect? No, but I have this going on a double grid. So the next time it comes through, it'll clean it up. It is pretty impressive how it pushes through. In this video, we were looking at the Mamotion Luba. So what did we think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. $2,700 plus tax, you're gonna be right around $3,000. In my opinion, that's a lot of money for a robotic lawnmower. 
That being said, the Luba is a workhorse. Even in tall grass, this thing just pushes through to get the job done. I will say there were a few things that I found wrong with this, and some of it has to do with the front bump sensor, where I noticed if it hit towards the left or towards the right and not more head on, it would have errors and just would beep at me. So I think if you're going to use this, doing the no-go zones or the boundaries are probably one of the more important things you can do. Therefore, the Luba knows where, or more importantly, where not to go. On the topic of sensors, it has the one on the front and there's one on either side, but there's no sensor in the back. And this actually happened to me a few times where the front bump sensor was triggered and it backed up, but like it backed up into a tree and just got stuck. And I actually had to physically go out and move it. So I think having a sensor in the back would also be helpful. Maybe that'll be something that Mamotion will do on future generations. I want to talk a little bit more about the app. There are good things and not so good things, right? So when you're mapping out your yard, I think it does a great job because you're right next to the mower connected via Bluetooth. It's very responsive. And for the most part, you get things done without any issues. That being said, I do think the app is not very user friendly. There's a lot of aspects in it that you have to sort of hunt around to find. Also, in my experience, I had difficulty communicating with the app via Wi-Fi. I was never really notified of anything if there were troubles with the mower and I could not check on the mower via Wi-Fi. That had to be done over Bluetooth. Now, that was just my experience. and I'm hopeful that with future firmware updates, these things will improve. Another thing I noted were the screws that we're using to hold in the blades. They have a hex bit, and although they do include a driver with this lawnmower, man, if you lose that, you're kind of out of luck. In my opinion, I would have loved to have had Phillips screws in there because more people, at least in the United States, have a Phillips head screwdriver as compared to hex bits. I guess that's something you can just replace on your own, but for me, I would have liked to have had that with the unit when I got it. Let's talk about things that I like about it. One, four wheel drive, absolutely. This thing went places that no other robotic lawnmower I have has gone before or probably will come since. And I was really impressed with how well it did mowing. Some of that mowing actually comes down to the two different wheels that have blades on them underneath. That is very important because you get a wider range of mowing. And in my opinion, it gets things done quicker and it looks really, really Nice. I will say underneath there is an area where you can get grass trapped. So if you do have to clean it out, make sure you be careful because those blades are sharp. I'm going to continue using this lawnmower. I have actually been pretty impressed with it. And if this is something that interests you. I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I couldn't end this video without showing you my new decal. Now we officially have our face to go with our name of C3P Mo. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Mimotion Luba. You know what? Not that long ago, I actually reviewed the EcoFlow Blade. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review video right over here and I would love it if you would click on that link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here. So go ahead, click it. It's safe, I promise.